Okay, first day, girls' day. Sorry. That's okay, come on then. Good morning, Ruth. Good morning, Bashak. I slept three times when you finish. <laughs> girls' day, Lori, no, Laura, Heidi, and Mira walking up. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Bravo. So this is uh, just before we start cleaning. This is before we are dusting. Um, I done, I've done the date already, but to remind us, it's the 22nd of July. And uh, things are in pretty good shape. And um, Bashak and Laurie are over there considering something or other. But anyway, I'm going to go round just to record uh, the state of everything after a year of doing nothing. And um, for the most part, we're in very good shape compared to building five. Not too many water splurges. I'll start in space 158 down here. And um, we can see here there's a bit of water damage uh, close to the bulk there on the left, that is to the north. Um, otherwise, pretty good. Just a covering of, of dust. Here we are in the northern part of space 158 with the bin, pretty good shape. Um, we can see the screen wall uh, has its packing there to make sure it's still standing and nothing has fallen. Uh, we're looking at it from its west side here. We are in the um, southern part of space 86. Uh, just a slight damp damage over there in the um, southwest corner, but not too bad at all. Everything looks pretty clear. Uh, it'll obviously need cleaning before we can see the pristine little half holes, fire installation holes. Over there you can see the east side of the packing for the screen wall. And um, in the northwest corner you can see all of the bags in the in the burial hole. Um, looks very really pretty good. Not too much collapse at all. In the northeast corner platform. It's good. It's the uh, southeast corner of the platform, of the uh, southeast corner platform. Okay, Space 89 is a bit damp damaged. This is, of course, the um, southeast corner of the building, which has always got more damp damage than other places. You can see the profiles really nicely. Here we're looking at the west profile of Space 89. The south profile of Space 89 looks really nice, damp, but nice. This is the uh, southeast corner of the tent where we can see some mushrooms and the most damp damage, which is like last year, but nothing, no rivulets behavior. It looks really good. Looks very good. Space 88 with its, um, Space 88 looks good. Little, a little dusty. Space uh, 87 
with its funny damp pattern like this. This is rather strange, so we're taking a photograph of its west profile. A um, little more damaged. You can see in the corner a bit of damp damage in its southwest corner. Uh, space 88, this is the south profile showing the bricks very nicely there. Moving over to the south profile of space 87. Not too much to see there. Mira's very happy. First day of the season. This is a before and this is a before and after picture. Before. Got any words to say? Good luck to all of you. <laughs> I'm going to the Bahamas tomorrow morning. Uh oh. Heidi's here. Say hi, Heidi. Hi. The family. <laughs> Do you have anything to say, Ms. Laurie I'm Hager? Really Dr. Hager. <laughs> She's excited. She's been looking, hoping that she would be excited, but now she is excited. <laughs> I'm just taking um, some shots of Space 86 from the north. Here we have the northwest platform. Uh, the half area, the central area, up to there. You can see the walls. Is that southeast? Corner, um, yeah, southeast corner. And the southwest, uh, sorry, northeast corner here. Here we are in the north, uh, northern end of Space 158. Funny line here. Everybody noticed it. I think it's been, it's like been stuff to me, but we'll see. Uh, just to look at some, to look a little more of the water damage. Did you want to show the water damage? I think I sh saw it there. Did you want to show anything? Over here, uh, around the base of the screen wall. Okay. But you'll have to come. Oh, bravo! <laughs> bravo, Laura! <laughs> She's after the mushrooms. <laughs> okay, I'm standing in Space 86 looking towards the west and I'm taking a picture here of the water rivulet, the only one really, which has broken through the west wall of Space, uh, space 158. It's coming down and has made a rivulet all the way down here and it's actually put some damage at the base of the... Um, of the screen wall. This is just looking at the base of the screen wall with this rivulet. I think that's enough. Oh, and yeah. had all the bones and you had yeah. all the bones. Yeah. Well, so it was higher than this is basically what it is. It the burial probably ended up here. Yeah. Like this. Maybe, the, yeah, a little bit even higher. Yeah. yeah, maybe even higher. Well, we had the level anyway. Well, contrary to what I previously said about salt, <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I think it's probably not, but um, that when you have an object like a stone or a basket or something sitting there, you'll get moisture collecting under it and you yeah. can get salts forming around in kind of a mm -hmm. layer. layer. Mm -hmm. So it's not this, but um, it just looks too continuous to me. But the way to know for sure is if you get a little vinegar mm -hmm. or HCL would be better, drop it on a, on a bit of that, let it dry. And then if, if when it dries, you still see the white line, then it's silica, it's not. It's from the phytolus, not the um, not, not salt. Not salt. Okay, yeah. so that would mean that let's say that so, that's what it is. It's phytolus. That that would mean that the, with the basket sitting up here, it's percolating down into it, and that is a remnant of the basket. No, no, no. Um, it might be something else. Maybe there was a little mat or something. The basket was sitting oh, on the mat, and you just most of it is. Destroyed. So it might not be related to the basket. Not necessarily. Directly, directly. But they might have lined the bottom of the pit right. with. Um, 
with a mat and then put the basket in it. Or but even um, and would it be something, something else not related with CrossFit? Oh, I, yeah. I don't know. Um, I actually haven't found anything different than <laughs> that, but maybe um, salt accumulates around that object, whatever it was. But, uh, I don't yeah, the way to know for sure really is to take a drop of HCL or something. But you didn't bring it with you. Mm, yes. <laughs> they have it down in the lab, yeah. in the conservator's yeah. lab. They have so, it by the gallon yeah. there. But this this line is not directly from the basket, but it's well, probably, probably not, from the, the burial so itself. High up, unless yeah. you know a piece of the basket tore. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, it does make that suspicious circle. It so, does, doesn't yeah, it? That's which what kind of goes around, what which makes me think yeah. that it might be somehow related. And to it's you. actually going this way. Mm -hmm. so in. What, yeah. Yes, in. Doesn't it? Because well, we yeah, we did, and you know, I've quit doing that because I'm trying to preserve it. In terms yeah, of, yeah, yeah, I know, but, but it's, it's, it I, is going that way. Because we have scraped, it's, it was out farther this way, so I would think that you're oh, right. Yeah. It's it still is, going probably. That it's probably still yeah. going. Yeah. So, so I'm trying to pull this back to see if it's true. It's, it's more like surface. the surface. Do you think so? Like this up here, I mean, it would be more like the salt, right? Yeah, the... Yeah, can you see these specks? Yeah, the specks. That's more like that. Or salt. Yeah. Or carbonates. And then this, this, and this may well be a rodent thing coming in mm -hmm. here, but nonetheless, you do have that straight line. Right. Circular. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yes. Yeah, well, you know.